Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on lines of best fit. When data are collected, the points graphed usually do not form a straight line, but may approximate a linear relationship. A line of best fit is a line that is very close to most of the data points. In guided example one, refer to the information in the table about the cost of cookies. Construct a scatter plot using the data. Then draw and assess a line that seems to best represent the data. And so you see in our table years since 2000, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9, and that ended up on our x-axis, with our average cost being on our y-axis. And so each data point was graphed, and then a line was drawn in that kind of goes in between all the data points. About half the points are above the line, and half the points are below the line. Then you want to judge the closeness of the data points to the line. Most of them seem pretty close, and that's what it says. Most of the points are close to the line. As we continue on, use the line of best fit to make a conjecture about the cost of cookies in 2013. We're going to extend the line so that you can estimate the y value for an x value of 2013. Now, that's going to be 2013 minus 2000 to get us the 13 years since 2000. And so when we look up our lines extended, look up from the 13, and you get about $3.35. Next, if we refer to the scatter plot about yearly points scored by a certain race car driver, draw and assess a line that seems to best represent the data. Well, how many data points do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so I need to have about 5 points above the line and 5 points below the line or so is one theory, or just five or six, something close to half. And if I draw a line in somewhere there as my line, when I go to assess it, um, most of these points aren't close, actually. And so I'm going to say most points are not close to the line of fit. But use the line of fit to make a conjecture about the points scored in 2015. Well, these are years since 1999. And so if I take 2015 minus 1999, I get 16. And so I'm going to be looking for a point here where it's 16 years since 1999. And if I continue drawing this line out, where does this cross at 16? I would say about a little short of 6,000. So I would say about 5,900. And again, for these, you could have a lot of different answers. You can have 5,900, 6,000, 6,100. Some are close to 5,900 is about what you'd want. Uh, but there could also be multiple answers depending on how you draw in your line. In our third guided example, the scatter plot shows the number of cellular service subscribers in the U.S. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line of best fit that is drawn and interpret the slope and y-intercept. Well, the line's already drawn in. And so what we're going to do is pick two points. And I would pick two points that the line passes through. And so we have 3, 1, 50 and 9275, you can see where it crosses exactly through those two points on the graph. There might not be actual points, but you can see where they are exact enough on our graph to call them points. So you're going to calculate the slope. You're going to look at the y-intercept. So the slope was 20 and 83 hundredths. So that means 20.83 million people per year is what the subscribers increased by since we have a positive slope. The y-intercept is 85 because the line crosses the y-axis at the point, if you estimate here, about 0, 085. Well, this is years since 1999 where it crosses the y-axis as well, 1999, zero years since 1999, which means there were 85 million cell phone subscribers in 1999. And if we go ahead and take our next step and write this in slope-intercept form, that is, remember, y equals mx plus b. We know our slope. We calculated that to be 20 and 83 hundredths. We know our y-intercept is 85, and so the equation for the line of best fit 
is y equals 20 and 83 hundredths x plus 85. Then, what else can we do with this? Use the equation to make a conjecture about the number of cellular subscribers in 2015. Now, the year 2015 is 16 years after 1999. Again, 2015 minus 1999. And so, we're going to substitute those 16 years in for x. So, 20 and 3 hundredths plus, or times the 16 plus the 85, you get 418 and 28 million cellular subscribers. And as you can tell, there's actually a little bit of an error here. When you multiply the 20 and 83 hundredths by the 16, that is 333 and 28 hundredths. And when you add that to the 85 is when you get the 418 and 28 hundredths million cellular subscribers. And now as we look to solve this question on our own, the scatter plot shows the graduation rate of high school students. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line of best fit that is drawn and interpret the slope and y-intercept. Let's pick two points off this line that cross exactly where we need them to cross. Well, it looks like I have a point here at 160. And it looks like I have a nice intersection point right here at 465. And so the first thing I would like to do is to calculate the slope. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So slope is equal to 65 minus 60 all over 4 minus 1, which is 5 over 3, which is 1.6 with that 6 repeating. The y-intercept, if I bring this down, is looking like it's going to be about 59. So the y-intercept we can say is 59. So when I go to write this in slope-intercept form, if y equals mx plus b, y can equal our slope of 1.6, and we'll just keep it 1.6. Or if you wanted, actually, you could, to be more precise, have it 5 thirds x plus our y-intercept of 59. Now when it comes to interpreting our slope of 1.6 repeating, or 5 thirds, means that the graduation rate increased by, we'll call it 1.6% per year. And the y-intercept indicates that 59% of high school students graduated in 1998. In part C, to make a conjecture about the graduation rate in 2020, 2020 is 22 years since 1998 because you can take right up here 2020 minus 1998 and get 22 years. And so if you were to take our equation, y equals 5 thirds x plus 59, and substitute in our 22, and simplify and solve, and y would equal 96 or 95 and 6 tenths, which means that about 96% of high school students would be graduating by 2020. And that's it for this lesson on lines of best fit. Good luck.